found in bed bleeding with a blood alcohol content, twice the legal limit. Court documents detail how police found the 23-year-old man now charged in connection to a crash Friday that killed all three women in another car. Madeline. Jesus Damn. Christ. And O'Neill joins us here in studio. And Maddie, we're learning that this isn't the first time police went looking for the man that night. Yeah, police say they were originally called to a house for Everton Stewart reportedly attacking and threatening others. That's according to court documents, which they say just 10 minutes after that call, police got another call, this time to the deadly two-car crash. Prosecutors say he caused. She's just a beautiful person. Yes. I'm gonna miss my baby. At a vigil Friday. Got my moment. I've been crying. Loved ones of Bobby Dyson said her death is a reminder of how short life can be. We're all going to go away, but we don't know when. A woman who filled her 28 years of life with joy. We had a lot of fun together. She was just an outgoing person. Dyson is one of three women in a crash near Sherman and Florist early Jeez. Friday morning. She Christ. Look at that car, man. Man, that's horrible, man. The top is off, so yeah, they, they all died. Wow. Florist early Friday morning. She, 28-year-old Ebony Johnson, and 31-year-old Deshonda Jackson were all killed without one of his daughters. Dyson's father said the rest of his days are forever different. I text them, say good morning. They text me back, good morning, David. So I'm going to miss that part about Lifetimes changed. When the man charged in Dyson's death, was missed by a matter of minutes. Court documents say just about 10 minutes before police were called to the crash. Officers got a complaint from a home about 23-year-old Everton Stewart, reportedly threatening others with a knife. The caller said he had been drinking all day and sped off. Court documents say when officers got to the two-car crash. Look at his car. Look at his car and look at their car. Why is it always like that? I know. Like <laughs> like, <laughs> there is no guy that I don't give a fuck. That's the same it's, reason why the drunk driver always survive, man. Yo, you could literally still like sell that car. His car is like literally like all right. you can take that shit to like the body shop and like salvage that shit. Their car, it looks like it doesn't even look like a car. It looks How like does it? his shit had a fender bender. His shit's gone. That doesn't shit. make any sense though. Turned their shit into a coupe. <laughs> right. Drop, Drop the top on right. it. He ran up like, how can you explain that? He ran up the car. Off the side and ran it's up just the there's listen, man. There's the, it, it's 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 it always it happens like that so many times. Yeah. From what I've seen, it, yeah. it's the guy who causes the accident, the drunk jackass. He never he oh, I mean, not even a scratch. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, <laughs> if that, if a scratch. <laughs> this guy. Like, shit, man. Hey. It's it's really a shame. I, I hate I hate that <laughs> type of life. Jesus Christ, man. Jason's death was missed by a matter of minutes. Court documents say just about 10 minutes before police were called to the crash. Officers got a complaint from a home about 23-year-old Everton Stewart, reportedly threatening others with a knife. The caller said he had been drinking all day and sped off. Court documents say when officers got to the two-car crash, Stewart was gone, but his passport was in his damaged car. Officers say they found him at his home in bed, bleeding. His tested blood alcohol contents twice the legal limit. Stewart later told officers he left the crash because he didn't see anyone who needed help. What do we do? I, I fear so many people here ask, so now what do I do? Dyson's father said all he can do is take the loss one day at a time. You know, move on. Yeah. That's all we can do. Move if on. convicted of the several charges against him, Stewart could spend the rest of his life in prison. A family member say two of the women killed were cousins. They have set up a GoFundMe page, which we have linked on our... <sighs> My God. Well, that'll be the best thing for him, life in prison. Maybe it changes life. Yeah. That's for sure. Facts. Um, shit. God damn, man. Yeah. God, these people. Our big story at five. We are learning more about a crash that killed a pregnant woman in Milwaukee last Thursday. Uh, our Zoe Chapala shows us the police put the pieces together to make an arrest. She brings us up to date. Zoe? Smash.
Yeah, that's right. It was actually Enzo. a receipt left behind and a unique tattoo that led to the arrest of 20-year-old Frank Mosley. First degree reckless homicide. Count one. Jesus First degree reckless homicide. Christ. Look at that car, man. T-boned her ass. Shit. Dead Whoa. center. That's what it looks like, man, when these some men are just driving recklessly and they T-bone you, man. Child. Count two. Hit and run involved death. And this is his car. He's crumpled up in the front a little bit, but you know. I still drive that joint home. <laughs> yeah, you can that drive this. I mainly For see real. the crazy driver from black women, though. I don't mainly see it from the black men. Yeah, but they don't get in like these kind of accidents, so I don't yeah. be seeing that. They they can't drive, I agree, but they don't be getting in these yeah, kind of the speed and this shit and ruining people's lives. Yeah, it's it, it, it pull like this, man. When it's when it's drunk driving, it could be on burritos, it could be gliders, it could be anybody. When it's just negligence and inconsideration and like wanton like recklessness is usually sons whether it be a son woman or i son wonder man. why count one first degree reckless homicide unborn child count two hit and run involved death count three these are felony charges filed against 20 year old frank mosley this is connected <laughs> did to his lawyer have pink hair woman and her unborn child Ooh. Look at that! Look at what he did! Look at look at look at this shit! This is. I think this is her car right here. She's just driving. It's connected. To oh, the he come. Damn, yo, what he the ran fuck? through her. Oh. What was he doing? Oh, against twenty-year-old Frank Mosley. This is connected to the crash. Oh, he that smacked the real dude. Unborn child. It happened Damn. last Thursday at the intersection of One Hundredth and Capitol. He stole a car from someone he had befriended and whose trust he betrayed by stealing his car. Damn. And then when police pursued him, uh, instead of pulling over and owning up, he fled striking and killing this pregnant woman the criminal complaint says the car reached speeds of more than 100 miles per oh shit. yeah i mean wow. that that looked like he hit her at 100 miles per hour shit. damn i don't know He's if airbags matter at that point no not at all so I, not from the side, this airbag really wouldn't have helped her from the side. Man. Well, she had an SUV. She should have had those curtain airbags on that side over there. Nah, the side man, she was doomed. I mean, listen, man, when they she hit was you doomed. like that, when they hit you like that, man, like, I mean, he's going 100 miles. He's not breaking. Like, he, he probably didn't break. Like, these niggas are reckless. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, this guy right here, he does... I'm telling you, man, I promise you. And I know a lot of people don't know this, so they probably think I'm tripping. He doesn't really care. He cares that he got caught. And he feels sorry for himself. Like, man, shit, man, I fucked my life up. He don't give two shits about that woman when he goes to sleep. Like, he don't go to sleep. He don't go to sleep, like, tossing and turning. Like, oh, my God, that baby, the, the woman, the woman, the no, nah, some men don't think like that, man. He going to sleep like, man, fuck my life up, man. Shit, man, watch, man. Man, that nigga, man. He probably blamed the dude he stole the car from. <laughs> like, seriously. He, he, he ain't man, check his brakes. Some men nah. think like, oh, that nigga owe me that money. If he would have never paid me more money, I wouldn't have to take his car, man. Shit, man. Befriended and whose trust he betrayed. Someone who had befriended. First day at the intersection of 100th and Capitol. He stole a car from someone he had befriended and whose trust he betrayed by stealing his car. And then when police pursued him, uh, instead of pulling over and owning up, he fled, 
striking and killing this pregnant woman. The criminal complaint says the car reached speeds of more than 100 miles per hour just five seconds before the crash. That's more than triple the posted speed limit. A receipt from Walmart is what helped police identify Mosley. He left it in the car. Police say they pulled surveillance oh video from that Walmart location. It captured Mosley with a tattoo of a clock on his. Look at that fucking proto human. That that's not even a human. That's like a um, that's like a primordial. Like yo, that's, that's an avatar. So you, <laughs> if you want to see what was walking the earth two hundred fifty thousand years ago. Try this, man. I promise you, this is not a human. This is the iPhone one, my G. Shout out to <laughs> JL, man. He says, Sometimes I really miss being in the Marines. There was no white, black, or brown, only green. You were different shades of green. It was not a perfect world, but we were all brothers working towards the same goal. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You could forget about that now. If you ain't woke, you might as well resign because right. this is what it is. Oh, he got a black eye though. He got a little black eye. So he did he didn't get away unscathed. That's oh, all yeah. he got? Jeez. Yeah. He couldn't yeah. break his neck or something, you know, do a solid favor. No? That shit don't this... never happen. Never. Oh, this is savage. A hundred miles per hour city street slammed in there. He got a black eye. His hand. Police went to the house where the car was reportedly stolen. They noticed a fire smoldering in the backyard. Inside, police found burnt clothes and papers detailing how to sell a car. Eventually, investigators forced their way inside and identified Mosley by the tattoo on his hand. That's when they arrested him. I do find that cash bail is appropriate. I find that significant cash is appropriate. What? Appropriate? Jeez. Cash bail. This motherfucker just killed somebody, and you talking about cash bail? That's what, what we voted for. They definitely voted for her. Oh, wow. Voted for her. Look, she she sees him not as her son, but she sees him as like somebody who the system has failed. Like she would probably say the system failed him. You Get know? Get the fuck out of here. It might be his first. It might be his first offense. Yeah, right. I don't give a damn. He killed this lady in a brutal way. She, who knows how much she suffered? Because I see this where I work at, and nah, bro, he don't deserve no mercy. I don't know what they talking about. Cash bail. I think he should get lead, lead bail. <laughs> That's so how you getting so now, out. So now he's on the street. So now he, he theoretically. Is, could just be driving around right now. So this story happened yesterday. He could Dang. be driving around like he could just be on the street driving. And if he made driving. bail, though, how much is the bail? I want to hear how much the bail is. Bail is appropriate. I find that significant cash is appropriate. Now, this isn't Yo. Mosley's first encounter with the law. Damn. He actually has previous theft convictions. His cash bail is posted at two hundred thousand oh, dollars. Bro, that's a twenty. That's a crime, man. He shouldn't get no bail. How do you kill this poor lady in such a savage way and get any bail? I mean, it. it Okay. She's right, enough is enough. And right now we're learning more about the woman killed in a fatal hit and run yesterday on Capitol Drive. Aaron Mogensen was 32 right. years old when a reckless sure. driver in a stolen car took her life. Bruce Harrison spoke today with her husband as their family remembers what they See, love. These white people, these white people, they don't even get this. This white, her husband, this is the, the woman who was killed. Her husband can't even be like, Filth man flaming. I'm tipped about this. Fiddlesticks. Because <laughs> they're going to be like, yo, what you talking about? You, say, you seeing us as savages, man? Like, he got to just say some dumb shit that just have us all like, what? 
of but why would white people be America. that weak you know what i'm saying to win the world you can't speak out you know what i'm saying if somebody took my wife and i was white i wouldn't give a fuck about nothing you hear me i don't understand that that's pure weakness if you ask me i mean well, it's no just one wants to get fired man fuck a job it killed my goddamn wife man my we'll life has changed pay you my brother but that's what it is man i mean if you go speaking out you'll you'll be labeled a racist and forget about it you're you're, you're well, you can't out. tell me ain't no white man ready to crash out after something like that like i don't understand it not the maybe one that's my son brain. that's maybe that's my son brain thinking i don't know yeah. especially when the dude is on the streets though like if that dude, like that dude, literally might be on the streets right now, and you know he thinking funny. You know, think about it, man. That's the type of son, man, that'll see the dude's husband and and smirk at him. My hell no. Yeah. Hell, bro. That's a fade on sight or worse. Because hell no, you ain't gonna smirk at me after that. You lost your mind. I just think that, like, I, yo, this white woman right here, this woman, damn, that shit's sad, man. Um, her She's life beautiful life too. was 32 years old when a reckless driver in a stolen car took her life. Bruce Harrison spoke today with her husband as their family remembers what they love most about her. Bruce? Charles, hi. Uh, when Erin Mogensen was killed, she was driving near home roads she knew well her husband alex smokinson says that he received a phone call and raced to the scene here this intersection but it was too late finding someone so special perfect for you is rare but alex smokinson had that connection and his wife life partner aaron aaron was a wonderful person i loved her very much she was kind thoughtful, gracious. She was my other half. He lost that other half. When police say a reckless driver in a stolen that car. You could look that car. <laughs> that doesn't look like a lot of damage, man. That's the driver's, right? The, yeah, uh, the this, is, this is the driver's car. I mean, damn, think about it. That other car literally was um like smushed in half. And this is all an SUV hit Aaron's car, killing her. Yesterday was our four year anniversary. Oh, God. I saw her that morning. I was working night shifts, so I I said goodbye to her and she kissed me goodnight at 8 a.m. And that was the last time I saw her. Alex says he believes Aaron may have been driving to the grocery store. He says she loved to decorate and host, often cooking. Alex and Aaron, a big Disney fan, vacationed at the Magic Kingdom. The couple had planned a trip from Sunday to celebrate four years and something else wonderful. She was uh, seven weeks pregnant, so we were really excited. To oh, shit. Mm -hmm. oh, my that was God. a good last memory, though. Mm. Mm -hmm. Start a family. Make sure you... Alex says they just spent Halloween spreading the news about the baby how do you want people to remember her alex as someone who would think more about others than herself she was always looking to help other people a lot of times to her own detriment or inconvenience police said today they arrested a suspect a 20 year old man in charges will be with. Yeah, we already got to that part. Jesus Christ. That's horrible, man. That's horrible. That guy is, uh, he's, he's destroyed on the inside. They need to put him on suicide watch. Dude, he should be about ready to crash out, man. Shoot. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 